Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Being Your Own CEO. This mm -hmm. is our weekly success circle. And um, this morning, um, we, have, um, a f we have a new guest uh, whom I'm going to uh, introduce shortly. But um, we, um, <clears throat> we have, we've been talking in the green room a little bit about um, our different user experience. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to kind of repeat that because uh, I set everything up in a slightly different way the last time, and so we need to know that. But um, because we have a new uh, a new visitor, I think it would be um, uh, uh, incumbent on me to actually do our usual um, introduction of what this uh, being your own CEO success circle is all about. So we get together because we enjoy each other's company, for one thing, and we like exchanging uh, ideas and information and encouragement. And uh, for me, it's all about giving and receiving support. My name is Lowell Ann, and I've been in business since 1996, helping people get to where they want to go. Our principles for this uh, hangout um, are we have three or four, and uh, they've been discussed a few times uh, over the, um, I think it's, I'm almost into my second year here, so um, <clears throat> so it's been a while. So our principles are as follows. It's relationships before business. Um, I liked uh, Zig Ziglar's uh, little phrase, you can get everything in life and business if you help enough people get what they want. We stand for positive possibilities and keep an open mind, and we never sell anything we are not prepared to deliver impeccably. So those are our principles. Hopefully uh, everybody is comfortable with those. And uh, so the next thing on the agenda is uh, to a bit of an introduction so that uh, everybody is uh, familiar with everybody else and uh, um, I like everybody to um, include in their introduction of themselves anything that's new, any announcements that they might have, uh, whatever. So Anna, you're on my left, so how would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I am Anna Fernandez. I'm in Mazatlan, Mexico, until the end of May, more or less. I um, have a business that um, provides travel protection plans, air ambulance plans, that sort of thing for the snowbird travelers. And I also am working on a uh, solo snowbirds site, uh, Facebook page, etc., to um, kind of get together a group. Uh, there's many, many snowbirds that travel on their own, so it would be a resource center for them and uh, a way to meet other sno solo snowbirds. Right on. That's cool. So I'm really looking forward to June uh, when you can come back and we can share some walks again. <laughs> yes, for sure. I, sh I need that. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to have you here again, Anna. So next Thanks. is Carlo. Uh, tell us where you are and what you're up to and any announcements that you, you might have. Good morning. Carlos Savio in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm a small business management and financial consultant, digitally fluent, uh, self-taught web developer and uh, web server administrator. I'm proficient in several modern programming languages. Been accessing the internet almost daily since 1992. And I currently operate a small, comfortably small, uh, digital consultancy uh, agency here in Vegas, working with only six to eight clients at a time, while helping them to hover above their local competition. As far as new is, I've been uh, teaching myself a, a very robust CMS product called Craft CMS. It takes a lot to get your head around it, but it's a powerful system that I'm going to use for my self-hosted crowdfunding programs. And that's wow. it. Craft CMS. Yes, Craft CMS is, uh, I invite you to look at it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's It's got a 
strong uphill learn, learning curve. <laughs> but those kind of websites sell for fifteen to fifty thousand dollars. Wow! As opposed to what WordPress websites sell for. All right. But it, so, it, it does powerful work. So is it craft with a K or a C? C. Okay. Craft like, like the, the other right. one is the cheese company. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, there is uh, Heather Crafter, our friend uh, on the internet, and she spells her name with a K. <laughs> so. <laughs> right. So, uh, welcome here. Oh my goodness, there is Craig. He just popped in. Good morning, Craig, and you just popped in in time. To uh, We're in, just in the middle of introductions. Do you want to catch your breath, or would you like to go now? Hi, I'm Craig, and uh, <laughs> I'm an addict. No, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> wrong, wrong meeting. Wrong hangout. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Um, I'm uh, I'm a local uh, business uh, professional here in uh, in outside Rochester, New York, and uh, I help small businesses get online with their uh, with their brick and mortars. Right on. And hi all. <laughs> so oh, and there is Jay. Good morning, Jay. We're just in the middle of introductions here. So um. At some point, Craig, I, I sure hope that um, you would be open to doing something around that whole local thing because I think we all need to know a little bit more about it. So, welcome. I haven't seen you for a little while. I, I'm gathering you were pretty, you've been busy. <laughs> and busy is good. It's that time of year, yes. <laughs> right on. So, now, welcome, Elizabeth. Elizabeth is with us for the first time, and I believe it was Paul who actually suggested that she join us. And um, um, interestingly enough, Elizabeth and I have met uh, numerous times in the past, even though now she lives in a different place. So Elizabeth, how would you like to introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit more about what you're up to and any sort of announcement you would like to make. Um, it's great to see you, Lola. <laughs> right. It really is. Um, I'm now continuing what I started in Victoria, and that is the etiquette workshops and talks on it at companies and um, schools, private schools. Association on nonprofits. Um, what I do is I have an upcoming children's for young young youths, uh, elementary and middle school, uh, four series that's starting in a couple of weeks in the Langley and Surrey area of BC, and um, that's the the newest thing. Mm -hmm. And other than that, it's just uh, keeping it going one step at a time. And I noticed that you uh, kind of kind of revived your your blog because I got I got one from you here not very long ago. Yeah, when I started back into it, um, which is probably officially I think it was beginning of March. Um, I started working on it before Christmas. I started with the blogs again and all the networking, and I'm getting um, things published in Small Business BC. Um, um, uh, enterprise, women enterprise. There's a mm -hmm. few art, a few places that I'm sending my articles to. Very nice. Kind of yeah. Plus, I'm also targeting the immigration mar um, segment. So uh, I have a whole thing concentrating on the cultural differences and how to assimilate into Canadian ways. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I will. Um, I want. Uh, I will want to connect you with a um, a colleague, an old old friend of mine who's living up in Duncan, and she's sort of doing something similar with a group of new Canadian uh, Canadians from China, and that's exactly what they're they're getting together and talking about cultural differences and whatnot. So I'll have to put you together with her. Sounds good. Yeah, right on. <laughs> well, welcome here. Hope that you'll uh, find it enjoyable, as enjoyable as I do. <laughs> well, it's my first webinar, thanks to oh. Paul. <laughs> Is it really? Oh, yeah. wow. 
<laughs> well, you, you've done extremely well. You didn't. Uh, you didn't have any questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So now, Jay, you're the next one in line. Good morning, Jay. Hi. <laughs> I love. Uh, you're the next one. Come on down. Should be a little more game showy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Jay, and my company is Magi Studios. And uh, I help people uh, get started in the world of online business, just like you. And uh, announcements, I hail from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. And uh, announcements is um, <laughs> trying to keep up with the demand of the Magic Platform, <laughs> which is a new piece of software that uh, I've recently launched. And it's just uh, I've had a, a plethora of people uh, contact me in regards to it. So uh, it's, a, it's, it's working quite well. So, and uh, basically, the Magic Platform uh, helps people manage their online reputation and uh, scour the world of social media to see what people are saying about you and or your business, and uh, giving you the ability to put yourself in front uh, of those mentions uh, to mitigate any potential uh, negative uh, um, or you know harness any positive impact it may have on your business. So, because people do mention your business online, whether it be negative or positive, it's important to make yourself, you put yourself in there. Right on. It's a lovely product. Thank you. Tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Jay. Thank you. Paul, nice to see you. Are you going to introduce yourself? Yes. Well, we I am. I just, uh, I... You skipped over to me. I was pondering my uh, my tree in front of my window here, uh, and listening, of course, to Jay's eloquent words. Uh, I'm Paul. I'm from uh, Victoria, British Columbia. Not so sunny, but it's getting there today. And uh, my company is uh, which one are we going to talk about today? Oh, how about TDG International Management, where we turn uh, ideas into profitable action, and. Uh, I, uh, I'm still playing with Jay's uh, uh, wonderful set of tools and talking to people about them, so I, I'm having a lot of fun doing that. Right on. Right. Yes, it's, it's, it, it, it is kind of exciting to know that there's something as robust and, and um, um, creative as that happening right here in our own little city. <laughs> so... It's great. So welcome, Paul. Nice to uh, have you have you here. And uh, I have to pass along from my one my choir friends who said, "Oh, wasn't that such a nice thing he did the other night?" <laughs> Paul showed <laughs> Paul showed up. Uh, we showed up in the same place that Paul was, <laughs> and he he uh, bought us around. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, that was uh, that was kind of fun. So uh, last but not least, uh, WeWake. Um, how would you like to introduce yourself? Namaste. My name is Vivek Anand. And people call me Vivek. I, I believe in living a simple life. I believe in thinking differently. As you can see, uh, I'm proud to share my belief with uh, Steve Jobs and Leonardo da Vinci who said simplicity is the ultimate in sophistication. So you may have projects, software development and you may be struggling to find someone who can integrate and simplify. So I live in um, UK close to London and uh, it's a uh, quarter past uh, five here in the evening so wow so um, nice to have you here and uh, we wake now you said Vivek Vivek and I've been hearing on Roland's hangout um, we wake so I changed the way I said it <laughs> I, I uh, having 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 come to uh, the UK uh, as I said uh, some time ago at the turn of the century. <laughs> uh, <laughs> have have gotten used to people calling me 
pronunciation, I'm, I'm fine with it as long as I know that they're addressing me and... Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's that's uh, that's a, a good thing. Uh, we I sat in on a hangout last week with, um, uh, well, I guess it was on Saturday, and I listened on Sunday, and uh, we wake talked about his um, his his work uh, in China, where he developed the software. Not that runs runs the underground uh, railway in Calcutta. Wow, yeah, how impressive is that? India, not China. Yeah. Oh, did I say China? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was thinking India. <laughs> yeah. So uh, that was that was really fun to uh, to hear about that. Okay, so I might say a little something about what I do in my work style, lifestyle uh, coaching work. I help solo entrepreneurs find direction and stay motivated and simplify and build systems that uh, make their businesses more efficient. Um, I, I like to, uh, as part of that uh, service, I like to host this um, this uh, success circle on a weekly basis. I also have a three-part um, um, training session called "Being um, Beginners Google for Business." Um, and um, my announcement: I'm just putting the finishing touches on a new product called the Portable Business Coach, and I have it. Just I haven't haven't published it just yet because there's one little small piece to go, but um, that should happen um, this week sometime. So that's my news. So this morning, thank you for every everyone for uh, joining me here. Uh, we were going to speak about the user experience and Hangouts, and. Um, we did uh, before we started the recording. We were chatting about this a little bit, and I think it might be worth um, sort of repeating a little bit of that. So basically, um, because we were going to be speaking about this this topic this morning, I um, did a bit of research. I did download the manual from Business Hangouts, and I also connected up with um, user to user um, Andrew uh, Hatchet and uh, discovered a few more aspects of the business hangouts and so I'm, uh, I, I did some a couple of things that are different and I would really appreciate hearing from uh, you all just kind of what does uh, you know what 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 was that experience for you? So um, in, uh, in, in Business Hangouts, you're able to uh, export the list of all the people who have been participants and or viewers in your Hangout. So I, I imported that into a spreadsheet, uh, simplified it, etc. And then um, from the manage uh, participants, I was able to put go in there and put everybody's email, name and email in there to um, um, and, and put them um, and designate them as participants. So I don't know if you noticed when you came in here, you just came in. There was no, um, uh, with the exception of Elizabeth, I um, she came in as a viewer and I hit the um, invite button for her, but the others because they have been here before I had already designated them as participants. So I'm curious from from your perspective uh, what that was like. Um, I'm thinking that um, when I did when I put you in that list, I'm thinking you probably got an email. Um, am I correct in that? Everybody got an email. So yeah. yeah, I got one too. Yeah, the one thing that I noticed that is uh, this morning was um, I didn't have it in my calendar. 
So I actually don't remember if I placed it in my calendar or not, but I did get the email. I think yeah. the email was saying, oh, hey, here, click here to put it in your calendar. So I probably didn't do that. Yeah. Um, so that was that's why I was I was a little late while traffic and uh, also um, trying to figure out where to go. So I just went to your community, went to the Watch Live Now, and found the, the latest one. Oh. And went oh. from there. So. So when you when you get that email, I believe there's a there's a button on in that email that says save this to your calendar. Jay, I have a question. Yes. What, what calendar do you use? What's your primary calendar? Google. Okay, because uniquely, this last time, <clears throat> as you may have seen, some Hangouts, <clears throat> when somebody adds you to a list of potential participants, mm -hmm. you get a, <clears throat> a block mark in your calendar with a little left arrow. Yep. Never before with the business Hangouts, except for this last time, I saw that on the Google Hangout. And as I said earlier to... to uh, Lola, I thought she had switched back to Google Hangouts. So mm. I was curious as why that didn't show up for you. Yeah, I, I don't know. But that, that, I, I, the first place that I checked is, was my, my Google Calendar, and nothing was there. I was just that, scrolling, that, oh, no, where is it? <laughs> I was <just> scrambling. <laughs> so. There have been a few changes uh, in the last couple of days, uh, in fact, from Google. Uh, Google have changed the way the ca uh, calendar works. So, so is there has that been a, true? yeah. So um, because of that, I think um, and because I, I when, when I was looking at my calendar the other day, it, it said uh, Google is changing the way the calendar works and. Uh, um, it, it says it said something to the effect of, "I should now be able to uh, add events to my calendar and so on from any web page." Oh, oh, that's interesting to know, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so I'm. I let's 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 let me see. Make sure that I that we're all. I, I, under um, the same impression. So when I added everybody as a participant in the in the business hangout uh, platform, then you mm -hmm. all got an email mm -hmm. and inside the email there would be um, a button there that says add to your calendar. Mm. Yes, I I, agree. I I got um, let me if I can show you I can do a screen share and show you. Oh, that you. would be wonderful because I can't see what. <laughs> yeah, this is an email that I got. Right. It says the title is you have been registered for being your own CEO, and then here it says, uh, um, pardon me if the letters are not that clear. Uh, let me try to zoom. Yeah. Oh, that's better. So, yeah, it, it, here it says, please mark your calendar now. And uh -huh. I think I clicked on that. Mm -hmm. And it simply added it to my calendar. Um, I didn't do anything about this, actually, the, the, the link here. At the time, I would please click on this. Uh, I didn't do that. Um, I, as usual, I went to my calendar, and uh, from there I came to join this Hangout. Uh-huh. Okay. So... Um, well, one, one thing I would say before... Um, yes, please I, do. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> yeah. The, I, I thought I was getting an email from you, Lovellan, but this the branding is all from Business Hangouts. You can say that it's a positive thing or a negative thing depends on uh, your viewpoint, but uh, that's just just a uh, to be. I mean, yeah, so <laughs> I agree. I agree with that something as simple as if you have the ability to perhaps change the check mark on the right hand side of Vivek's uh, the screenshot there a minute ago to your your picture or your logo. Probably your picture would be better, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So let me tell you about that. So when um, 
uh, when you when you um, um, the um, uh, what I have right now is the very lowest premium um, uh, ability. Mm -hmm. The next layer up is a little bit more expensive, but it allows you to change all the branding that you want to. Oh, and um, it's not it's I mean it's not that much more expensive, and I mean there, it 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 has a lot of other features that will would allow me to make much better use of it, and I I have have um, I had decided I would wait mm. before I went to that next layer until I was really comfortable with how all of this works and how all how people are going to be able to come in, what their experience, we, we all know what our experience is in here now, so um, just to know what the experience for the person on the outside would be because um, you know my uh, uh, my plan is to launch a, a course uh, using this this um, platform and certainly would need to have my own branding etc etc now for uh, Elizabeth for your benefit um, you can um, you can use this business hangout and host it right on your own website so and and it's it's um, at the level that I'm paying for it right now. It it doesn't look very nice, uh, and it's, it's been something that I've I've um, just had to <laughs> live with. But um, when I'm ready to uh, move up into the next layer, then I'll be able to do all the branding, etc. You you mentioned that Elizabeth, um, this was your first time doing a hangout. Yes. I'd love to know your experience of how you got in here, and and like from a you know your own perspective, from being someone who's you know never experienced this kind of hangout before. Plus, you have a stranger in the background. <laughs> I have a stranger in the background. There's someone who's appearing over. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Home office. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I know. I was just I was pulling you like it was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Honestly, I'd like to. I'd like to know your experience I from someone who's never, never kind of, you know, experienced. In which way? Of how I linked on, or or how? How did you get in? How did you find it? And how every did you? Time, I don't know, Alola, but every time you have one, it automatically. I'm. Uh, I have a Mac, and it automatically goes. On my day, Tuesday at nine o'clock, and I have to accept or decline. Uh huh. And what I do is today I accept it and it brought me to the and they, I saw a link, so I scroll down, hit the link. Yeah. And then I had to go through a few procedures, which because I have a couple of Google um, Gmails, mm -hmm. which Gmail I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. I was going to use my business one, but the problem is if I did that, I'd have to start. Downloading, they wanted all my old contacts. I didn't yeah, have time yeah. for that, so I went yeah. back to the one that I use. Mm -hmm. And then I just it started. You know, I just had to put layers and download a few things. That's why I was I was here like ten two, but yeah. the time I hit the right switch and that, yeah. Right. So, so you it, you, you used Google simple. before? Okay, good. Sorry. I was just sorry to interrupt, but you so you use Google actively or Gmail actively then? Uh, yes, and I okay. have. Plus, yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. See, I, I was I was under the impression that that based on what Lauren was saying in the introductions this morning that you you hadn't experienced Google Plus before. So that's initially why I was asking the question. So I. It, oh no! I've just never been on a webinar or Hangouts. I mean, actually, yeah. I guess it's the same thing. I speak to my daughter on Hangouts because she doesn't have a Mac. She doesn't have an iPhone anymore. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know, because because yeah. I mean, you know, it's uh, I I I'm struggling to find the benefit of business hangouts personally. I don't use it, but um, <clears throat> I find that the the one advantage that I I notice is that people can register with LinkedIn or Twitter or other kind of social media sources. Yeah. Um, but beyond that, I I don't see any real benefit to it. So personally, so but. Uh, 
So it's interesting to see someone coming in or, or hearing someone's experience coming in for the first time. Well, but Jay, I need to add add something that will that will clarify. Um, when I was when I was uh, putting the planning the hangout last week after the after last week's, I still did an event page, mm. and um, uh, Elizabeth said in the event page, yes, she was coming. So I saw her in the uh, in the list of those who said they were coming on the event page. Mm, okay. So she wouldn't. She she came in the traditional the other way, and so with the rest of you, I I um I di I I used a different format, a different way of doing it because I wanted uh, to see what the difference was. I see. Okay. Yeah. So all of so you, except for except for Elizabeth, you all came in directly as a participant. Because I had put you into business hangouts as a participant, so you just you, you if you click if you had clicked on the the uh, link in the in the calendar thing, it would have brought you directly in without all the steps. Got it. Okay. So it's it's a much more direct so low land. route. Yes. Yes, Paul. Uh, I, that's what I was going to say. This is the fastest I've ever got in. So whatever you've done has has certainly made it faster and easier. Uh, the only thing is I, uh, and that's another issue, is I seem to be in uh, in whatever it is Chromecast rather than Hangouts when I usually come in and Hangouts. So that's <laughs> that's just some set. Yeah, well, Crowdcast is one of those things in the in the toolbox. I have it on on my side. Sidebar as well, and um, you just need to hit the business hangout one. That's 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 a very simple difference. Crowdcast is a similar uh, program to business hangouts. So, so basically, I, uh, I just wanted to uh, give you my my experience. Please do, yeah. First off, I have no idea what email you're talking about. There's nothing in my calendar, so. I, I don't know how that stuff got. Um, I, I get a lot of emails every day, so I, I might have deleted it. I don't know. Um, and um, as far as coming in, I came in through the community. Yeah. And and I didn't have there. That was that was much cleaner because I didn't have that extra step that I usually have where I have to wait for you to approve me to come in. So right. That was nice, but yeah. Uh, as far as as far as the emails and all that stuff. I, I don't know that I ever got it. So I, I, I can tell you the reason you didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, send it to me. <laughs> you've, got, you've got more than one e, uh, Gmail account, and I after I I did it, I thought I wonder if that's the right one. Okay. <laughs> so right. that's the that's one of the drawbacks of having more than one Gmail account. P other people don't know which one to use. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, as as a as a uh, matter of fact, I, I the other day when I saw that uh, email from you, I in a way I was trying to deliberately see what happens when I do the wrong thing. Kind of, <laughs> 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 I used the other email address, and it said you are using the wrong email address, and uh, um. So it it uh, took me to almost to the same place where I can get into the Hangout page, but then uh -huh. at that point it said the wrong email address. Uh huh. So you had to go and use the right one. Okay. Yeah. So basically, for, from what I can see, uh, I'm trying I'm trying to think this through in terms of you know running a regular Hangout with regular people. So the first time somebody comes in, they get they get a per, like they go in and they 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 give their name and their their email address. That's all I ask for. You can ask for a whole lot more information, but I I I don't see the the need or the point of it. So you um, within the the analytics of business hangouts, you get all of that you get that information in which you can download and and I believe then 
you can add to whatever mail mail uh, program that you have, whether it's Mailchimp or whatever. So then, if there are regular people that you're doing something, then I, as the the host, I can put those people in directly into the platform as a participant, which will generate an email to them. And uh, and that and that has the button for the calendar. Put it in my calendar. So that is it's and so once it's there, there's one. Once you've once you've received the email, there's one click. So that was one of the things that we uh, talked about last week. I mean, the 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 fewer clicks people have to go through, the better, right? And um, what I, I mean, I'm, I'm, my thinking is, yes, a lot of the people that I connect with still do all of that within, you know, the the Google Plus world, but there are tons and tons of people out there who are not part of Google Plus, and so I needed to have a full understanding of how that works for somebody who's not in Google Plus. So um, many of many of us are still still know that a lot of Google Plus users like to receive their notifications through the the event page. I think next week I'm going to register using a different social media account, like a Twitter account or something, just to see. I want to yes. see what yes. what the experience is. Yes, that would be a really good idea. And um, so the other thing I was thinking of doing, now that I know know this part, now what I'll do is I'll put I'll I'll make um, um I I think what I'll do is within LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter, I will go um in you know put an invitation in there with the link, so that if you are a uh, if you are a Twitter person and you are in Twitter. Then you should be able to just click on that and watch right uh, and and view right there. Now the, there's one caveat here: the only way that you can be a participant in the in the green room in the film strip, you have to come in and, in uh, as a Google Plus. So that's that's the that's the the one difference. Like so, as a viewer. You can come. You can view from any of those other platforms, but if you're going to be in the in the um, in the film strip, you have to come in as as part of Google Plus. So, <clears throat> well, last time we talked a little bit about um, you know how important is it to have a a, a checklist for people. So um, I I yeah, I've been. Um, Putting some thought toward that a little bit, and because I'm thinking that I would uh, like to um, host these uh, right on my website, then I guess I would put a little checklist in there for anybody who wants to uh, wants to participate. And so I think the checklist would be, you know, basically, you know, um, you gotta you gotta have a camera and you gotta have a microphone <laughs> and. and and it um, it does make um, make a lot more sense to use a, a Google Plus calendar or a Google Calendar, yeah. So, so I can can anybody think of anything else that that I that I should add? Uh, here's a note. Uh, so who's who uh, is? I just, I just shared a uh, a quick little image, oh. image that I was looking at on Sunday morning. You can. You can open it. Here it says. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here I'm just going to I'm going to show the. Sunday morning in Rochester. Oh, what a bummer! <laughs> can everybody see that? <laughs> what is that white residue on the floor? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, and and uh, people here in Victoria are shoveling of uh, um, blossoms <laughs> on the street. We, we got a little snow. snow. 
Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, so, okay. Get to write, write. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so, um, getting back to our topic, um, we talked about um, having a checklist for newbies, and so maybe even I, maybe the, the email that goes out could be, uh, if I'm generating an email, it could have a little checklist there or something that would explain what to expect. So that's, uh, that's pretty good. And um, the, other, the other piece, I guess, uh, the user experience is, um, you know, I mean, lots of people are, have been talking a lot about what it's like to be in a Hangout and be before a camera and all of that. Some people find that very intimidating. Uh, I don't know what else you can do other than to say, get over it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, mean, I think the choice is that if people don't want to contribute and be part of the film script, they can just watch it on your site, right? That's right. So, so I think within that checklist, that says, well, if you want to be a participant, you need to have these yes. are the, the requirements. Yeah. And that if you don't want to be on camera, you could simply watch it from my website. Here's the link. Yeah. And also the other the other piece would be everybody gets to see that unified chat. So you can participate in the conversation by uh, adding your comments in the unified chat and that that gets record the unified chat gets recorded with the business hangout. Mm. Um can I say something? Please do. Um, yeah, I was going to add uh, that uh, since you would be doing a Hangout on Air, essentially, yeah. um, your, view, uh, your visitors or your guests need to be aware of the copyright issues and uh, so on. So uh, one aspect is make sure that no TV is playing in the background, no music. If there is, then the host can be penalized. That is the problem. Host gets penalized. Do you have, do you have any kind of written documentation or proof of that within from Google that you can share, Vivek? Because I'd be very curious about that. Um, because that, I, I, that's the, I, in my, I'm no lawyer, but I that wouldn't hold up in court. I you know I don't think no but but the, what they would simply do is uh, shut down your YouTube channel that's all yeah and and Google has been uh, in the news for the shall I say wrong reason in the in, in the wrong way uh, in the sense when it comes to YouTube and copyright and so on um, Google seems to take the attitude of shoot first then ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we certainly, uh, Jay. We certainly in the um, in the Hangout world uh, on Google Plus. That was uh, that was always uh, said that you cannot pull somebody else's or another video in. But I've heard something different when it comes to the the business Hangouts. And so there's a piece I do need to do some research. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's interesting because I, I mean, like, if if I'm invited into here, and then I have a TV here and it's playing some sort of copyrighted film in the background, why are you at fault, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, for for in, in a way for letting you in in the sense. Yeah, yeah. but you, you don't you don't know that uh, they're they're playing that until they're actually in the hangar. Right. So that that, that's true, sense. but but the, the but the point is the uh, guest. Uh, the host is held responsible because it's the right. host's uh, YouTube channel where mm. this uh, mm. video gets recorded. That's that's the main reason. So. Right. What about minors? Yeah, because the uh, when you when you come into uh, when you come into a hangout, it does uh, say uh, there's a there's a box. there's a box which says there's yeah. a box which it says that you um, that you, you can um, prevent uh, under 18s from yeah. getting yeah. in and uh, yeah. but it's a it's an option you can yeah yeah I d I've never bothered uh, clicking that no, yeah so because I don't, uh, I don't uh, know what happens if you do. <laughs> 
<laughs> ask to, to see everyone's ID before they come in. Right? <laughs> right. Show it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the other um, the uh, the other user experience that uh, came to my mind. Um, um, and, and this is out, outside of the technological pieces, is that uh, I think that that um, people, whether they are participants and or viewers, they should be acknowledged in some way. And I, I do know that, uh, you know, if you had 100 people sitting out there, as you do, Jay, in your, um, your Friday night uh, training there's no way that you would be able to acknowledge everybody individually but you do acknowledge that there are people there from all over etc cetera, etc cetera. and I think that especially if it's a small group and uh, people are, are adding comments and doing whatever that it's it's incumbent on the on the host to to acknowledge the people that are there and invite them to uh, make comments and join the conversation, and then if there are, um, you know, if people have added things mm -hmm. in the comment stream, just as I was, I did with uh, Craig. It was good that Craig sort of did that. He put something in the, in the unified chat, and I could have brought that over. And uh, just for everybody else's benefit, I will do that so you can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I can bring that right over into the, um, so there, there is like if some, if one of your participants makes a comment, then you can bring it over so that everybody in the group gets to see it. So mm -hmm. there are times when that's useful and uh, when it's not, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's like with my the technology that we're using, GoToWebinar. Um, I, I don't have the direct ability to show what people say on the screen. That's why, you mm -hmm. know, during we have a live Q and A at the end of my webinars, and uh, so I just read them out the, the questions mm -hmm. as opposed to showing them. I mean, I could show them within the control panel, but it's just it's too much work, right? So yeah. that way I would get less questions answered. But uh, it's really neat to see. You know, I mean, as you'd mentioned, I, you know, I asked, well, well, let me know where you are in the world. Just want to make sure everyone can hear me. And, and people start just listen off where they are. And yeah. it's really cool to see where people are. Uh, like, I mean, you know, ranging from Midwest United States to Perth, Australia to Dubai, you know, and, and with it being at 5 p.m. Pacific, it means it's like two in the morning and three in the morning for for these these people that are attending live, and it's wild. It's just wild, and it's really humbling, honestly. You know, uh, to to see people coming, like actually either waking up early or staying up late to attend your your live presentations. You know, it's it's pretty wild. I mean, it's 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 awesome. I mean, I, I personally love it. So, you know, I try to roll off, you know, as many locations as I can. You know. Um, when when I ask people to tell me where they are, but uh, it's it, it gets a little overwhelming because I mean, you know, yeah. like last, there's a lot of people that attend those, you know. So yeah. So if you were using this one, um, did you see uh, that I moved over to the the blocks there? So you you would have been if you were using this this platform, you would be able to show um, the map of the world. Yeah. 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 So that's kind of cool, yeah. So I mean, this 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 thing has a lot of um, a lot of benefits. Um, it does. It, there is a bit of a learning curve, I think, both for the especially for participants that used to be on um, you know doing everything in the Google Plus world. Mm -hmm. But um, it's it's pretty uh, once you, once you've got once you're able to get past all of that. Then it seems to it seems to work really well. So yeah, I think a good getting started guide from the company that developed the software would be ideal, almost like an infographic. You know, it's like all right, here's what you got to do. You know, and, mm -hmm. uh, and and also maybe an infographic or or some sort of visual step by step um, for the user as well. I think would be ideal. You know, it's like all right, well here's what you need to do. Picture this. You know, do a bunch of screenshots, right? Because I mean. I've been doing webinars for a number of years now, and, and there's people that you know 
still ask me every week, well, how do you how do you ask a question or how do you change your time zone? And 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 there's <laughs> step by step tutorials. Like <laughs> I've got a step by step tutorial on how to change your time zone inside the uh, wealthy affiliate. And and people will say, well, my city isn't in the drop down, <laughs> so I have to say, well, listen, just see find what one. area is your time <laughs> right yeah, now. Find, and just find one that's that one. close. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's your time zone. So there, that's your time zone. It's just like ah, so pull your hair out. So, <laughs> well, um, just uh, just so everybody knows that in business hangouts there is a whole series of videos, how to do everything, one after another. Can, are you taping this program? Are you able to tape? This? this this is being this is um, what 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 has happened when we started. I did say I'm hitting the green button. That's that means that um, I was starting a broadcast, so it is being taped, and uh, it gets uploaded automatically to YouTube. Oh, okay. And then so, you can put that on your website and, and whatever the yes. the yeah okay. Yeah. The other question. Other businesses or other, where do I look to find? Uh, like you mentioned, you have the wealthy affiliate, and, or how do I find other interest topics? Well, um, I am a member of wealthy affiliate, but this hangout is not part of it. So once we uh, stop broadcasting, maybe you could ask some questions, um, Craig. And I, I don't know, if Paul, if he's a member or not, but the three of us, anyway, are members, so we can tell you some more about that. Okay, no, I was just wondering, in general, how you find any business or any other topics. Okay, so after... From where? I mean, from where? From, like, from Google, from this platform. Is there a way of, of looking... I, I don't think I don't think Business Hangouts has like a directory of other businesses that are using it. So as far as I know, oh, okay. it's like but, YouTube. You can go Google it and you can say, um, yeah, "Dog yeah. doing a dance," and you'll have a million videos. But I think that would be a really good idea for Business Hangouts to do. I think that's a great suggestion. Is, is, I do too. Yeah. Yes, is have them. You know, because I mean, if someone, if if we are all familiar with the technology now with the Business Hangout. Add-on, then uh, I think creating a directory. Vivek, make one. <coughs> uh, you should. Uh, <laughs> you should. That would be pretty <laughs> ideal, right? So. <laughs> well, Jay, we don't know. Um, I mean, we know that the the um, business hangouts has been sold, and there are new owners, so we don't know what they're going to use uh, it for. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to go away, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think we've kind of exhausted the topic of user experience. I, I invite anybody who has a parting uh, question or comment or observation um, to, um, to do so right now. And um, if then we can uh, continue the conversation after, um, after we stop the broadcast. So any, any comments or observations before we... Um, before we close, yeah. is that you, Jay Waven? <laughs> uh, I, I just think you know it doesn't matter what technology you're using, and I think it really does boil down to a user experience. You know, it can be hologram technology. You know, um, that's powered by the sun. As long as the it's a great user experience, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what the software is. You know, as long as people can understand how to work it and get in and use it easily within the, the, the few amounts of steps as possible, you know, and, and that the, the price is forgettable and that you can create what's called an, you know, an ROI. So are you getting a, a return on your investment mm -hmm. in either value or profit, you know? So, mm -hmm. you know, if you find value in the software, by all means, and if your attendees or the people who you're using it for can use it as well with little hassle, then by all means, you know. So, but I think when when your audience has to change the way they're used to doing things, then I think that presents a problem. And I think Business Hangouts has got it maybe about ninety percent of it is is good. 
I think they need to do a few tweaks here and there. Yeah. You know, from from a user perspective, from from someone being invited in, you know, that may have never used Google Hangouts before, right? And that's why there's the the Twitter and the other features. Yeah. So. What I'm hearing uh, in the community, the user to user community, uh, Andrew's group. What I hear from them is that if you've never participated in Hangouts before, the, the, the business Hangout is much easier to learn. Mm. Yeah. So I have something I, I should share here. <laughs> Craig says, it's a holographic user experience powered by the sun. <laughs> it's called real life. <laughs> So, Lowell Ann, I have a question uh, to yes. you. Yes. Uh, you've obviously participated in uh, Hangouts that were far larger than this. And mm -hmm. compared to some of the other platforms that are out there for large group experiences, how does this one compare? Um, the only the the other one the the other ones that I would compare it to would be to um, Blab. Blab is um, you know it's it's um, um, strictly um, in it's in the in the Twitter sphere, and um, I've seen loads and loads and loads of people there, uh, and um, it's it, there are some some issues. Here within Hangouts, um, yes, I have sat in on lots of Hangouts with uh, with more. Well, actually, most of the Hangouts that I've sat in on usually only have one or two people in the green room, and everybody else is on the outside, participating, okay, so. participating, and typing in comments and so forth. And the reason that. Um, um, I mean, there was a there was a big move at, um, a few months ago when this whole Blab thing started, and all kinds of people moved over to Blab. Um, but I didn't because I could see that it didn't fit, it didn't match the model that I wanted to do. See, my my model is that this is a success circle, and that I would be happiest if the whole if the whole ten spots were used so that we get a chance to experience things with each other and to experiment and to get to know each other in a very sort of personal way. Whereas on a, on a Blab, you've only got four uh, squares there and th that means that the moderator needs to bounce people back and forth in and out and, uh, and so forth. It, 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 to me, it just didn't, it didn't fit the model that I was interested in. It's very ADD. <laughs> the blab. Yeah. You know? yeah, I think the the blab I think is uh, quite uh, relaxed about the copyright issues and so on. So that that I think is a major uh, attraction for people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, that's just yeah. like Twitter, right? They don't they don't care about that stuff. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's it comes and goes so quick. It's like, well, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> so I I was watching a, a blab the other day. Uh, and uh, I noticed that the blab I was I got alerted to it was one of Steve Dotto's. Uh, what they had done is they had used a platform. I'm not, and I didn't get the original uh, course, but I think they probably used a platform like this to deliver the course, and then they ported everybody to blab for the question and answer. And yes. I thought that was an interesting tactic. Yes, I've seen. Uh, I know of a number of people who do hangouts, and they, that's what they do: is they'll they'll uh, they'll do a presentation or they'll do a very close discussion, just with one or two people within the within the green room, and then they can re they convene over to a blab afterwards. Mm. But for me, I I mean, for what for what I wanted to achieve with this, and I. I, I, I mean, you folks would, would be the, the better um, judge, but I, I feel as though we've all got, been able to get to know each other very well. And uh, peop we've started doing business with one another, and we enjoy each other's company and, and so forth. So for me, this Hangout uh, platform it works better. It's like so, a warm, fuzzy hug all over. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 
Say again, Elizabeth. You can't do. You can't have more than ten people in the green room in the no. strip. No. I I think it is fifteen. <clears throat> I think it is fifteen. Oh, really? it it depends okay. on what it depends on which um um uh, premium you have. Uh, yeah, are you on if yeah if you use a free Gmail account then it is ten. If, yeah. Uh, otherwise it is fifteen. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Can more people listen in? Just can't participate. Oh yeah, that's unlimited. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So what happened to your overlay, um, uh, Wewek? I don't know. It suddenly just vanished. I really <laughs> don't know what happened. He was touching switches while you were talking. No, he said something negative about Google. <laughs> <laughs> this dance is futile. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's show you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're getting into our giggles now, so I, I do think it's now time for us to wrap up today's conversation. That's With a sense. reminder, please do join the Being Your Own CEO community on Google+. Uh, you'll find lots of resources there. Uh, also, I have a... Um, um, a site, a collection site uh, that is specifically for solopreneurs. I try to put things in there that I know other solopreneurs would find uh, useful and helpful. So, um, and I, I certainly in the community, I do invite any or all of you to um, uh, contribute whatever you're doing in there to uh, make it feel like a community, not just a one man, <laughs> a one woman show. So, uh, and also, if YouTube is your pleasure, you could um, subscribe to my my channel. I do have a channel there. So, this is Lowell Ann signing off the Being Your Own CEO success circle for this week. Bye for now, and thank you all for joining me. <laughs> <laughs>